Greetings everyone and welcome to today's latest mix up build videos that I create for your enjoyment. Today's build I have is not one but two builds instead and this is all focusing around the new level 4 white shelling that was made available in the Tower of Colby Siege. Now as a heads up, although I do go into detail about the two builds and weapon use, you don't have to use level 4 and wide shelling to make it work for you. You can use level 3 as well, as the only main difference out of the two is the damage being done. So don't feel like you have to use a level 4 version for this, as the build I created is one designed to be flexible for yourself and I. So today's build is one that I want to build around the new and very popular gun that's called the Tower of Colby Water, and more specifically the level 4 wide that this weapon possesses. This is a unique weapon, as this one and a few other Tower of Colby gun lances actually gave us a level 4 wide shelling, which wasn't present in the base game until this event came. Now many of you here may have already tried out wide shelling before, and from looking at the community feedback on wide shelling on its own, not many people were interested in the shell type, as it is slightly lower damage when compared to full burst normal shelling combo, or long shell charge playstyle combo. But, when using the shelling type on its own, or through the poke shell playstyle, it comes out with a much more higher shell damage compared to the other two, and allows you to do consistent damage and relatively quick damage, which can be safe for you as you don't have to worry about going through an animation of sorts, and can block with ease. And this generally makes it an easier and new user friendly shell type that I really suggest many of you should give a try on, as if you want to get into gun lances, white shelling is probably the most easiest and simplest one to go through. So as our prayers have been answered, I was lucky to get this weapon in the event, with a few other gun lances, and, and had been having a blast with this weapon, no pun intended. And with that being said, I managed to create two builds for you that both fall into the two separate playstyles available for you to begin with. We have the poke shell playstyle and just the shelling playstyle. Both of these builds can be crafted easily with some of the materials being made available for you, while some of the skills might not be available for you to start with but shouldn't be a problem as most of the set can work fine with what they have. Also, I don't have an artillery jewel or a guard jewel, so what you see is what I have available, but take these info as notes to improve upon it when you have the spare time. So build A, or should I call it CC breaker, or again, combo breaker, is a standard poke shell gun lance build for wide shelling that will combine both damage done via your lance pokes and shelling so you can pull off consistent damage throughout the fights. The skills used are the following, which are very common ones that you would see in a poke shell gun lance build. And your augmentation is up to you, but I want with health so I can stay in the fight much more longer. So for non-shelling damage that focuses around the lance usage, you're going to be using weakness exploit 3 for extra crit damage when applied to a monster's weak point. Attack 4 to increase your base damage and receive a 5% extra affinity. Non-elemental boost to significantly increase the base damage a weapon does, as we won't be unlocking the hidden element on a weapon. And handicraft 2 to increase our sharpness a bit more so we can last a bit more longer in our fights in terms of both poking and shelling. For the shelling and standard protection purpose, I went with artillery 3 to increase my gun lance shelling damage, guard 3 to allow me to block monsters attacks, much more better with little to no pushback, capacity boost 1 to increase the number of shells being held by plus 1, guard up 1 to block out unblockable attacks but this can be switched out when you're not facing certain monsters that use unblockable attacks, and speed sharpening 2 to allow me to sharpen my weapon faster. But this can also be switched out for something like medicine, health up, recovery up, protection, etc. As you can use the wet fish scales instead to sharpen your weapon faster, but this would require you to go out and fish for some. Overall, this set will give you a base attack of 543, affinity at 5% or 55% when the weakness exploit is applied, a defense of 455, and your shelling damage coming to around 60 plus to 70 plus, depending on whether you went with feline bomber skill to enhance the damage. Like I said before, this is a very genre and probably easy to create build that gives you a fair balance for both damage being done via pokes and shelling. Some of the skills used may not be available for you because of the jaw being used, so instead you can go with the Dodogamma Waste for the capacity boost, and then use the Yorogam 3 pieces to get your guard up and guard free for free, which will overall leave you with enough jaw slots to slot in whatever you want then. Your standard playstyle will consist of poke shell, poke shell methods, and then depending on if the monster is immobile, I tend to do a overhead slam, then a wide slash, then go into a wooden stake for more damage, and then finally finish off with a wooden fire. That's what I usually run playstyle wise, as it will give you a big amount of damage in one go, but this will chew through your sharpness like there's no tomorrow. So that is why you only do that combo when the situation allows you to. But except from that, this is a pretty standard solid build for consistent damage and will help you out majorly when going up against monsters such as Temple Devil Joe, who you really want to prepare but dish out the damage at the same time. 
All right, the next build I have is one I call the All Sheller Buckshot build, that as the name states, will be focusing on just the shelling usage of your weapon. Many of you here may already know about the only shelling runs you see on YouTube, where you can only use shelling to do damage to your monster, and many players have managed to pull off some amazing feats when using just the shells of the weapon to put out damage. Now, funnily enough, wide shelling when used on its own is very powerful when compared to the other shells in the game, with its damage that varies from levels. So, level 4 will net you around 60 plus damage, but can go into the 70 plus range when the Feline Bomber is active, making it an effective boomstick for clearing out large monsters in a few hits. So here's my take on the shelling only build that will give you a quick, damaging and relatively safe playstyle for any monster in game, especially Timber Devil Joe. I went with a Handicraft 4 to push my sharpness into the white sharpness area so I could shell much more longer and not focus so much on sharpening all the time, Artillery 3 for max shelling damage, Guard 3 to block attacks much more easier with little to no pushback, Guard up to block unblockable attacks, non-elemental boost to boost my weapon's damage but this is just there for when you do a wooden stake as you do apply a bit of damage when you apply it. But if you're going full out, just shelling only, then you have a free level 3 slot to do whatever you like. Divine Blessing 2 to negate some of the feedback damage you receive by a relatively small amount. Protective Polish to stop my weapon sharpness level from degrading for a minute. Item Prolonger 3 to extend the Protective Polish skill by an extra 30 seconds. So with the two combined, I will have a minute 30 free sharpness to go full out without worrying about my sharpness degrading. And then Speed Sharpening 2 to allow me to sharpen my weapon quicker, but of course you can always change this to your own liking as, like I said before, wet fish scales can be used as a substitute. Overall, this will give you a defense of 429, and your shelling damage to come around to 60 plus to 70 plus damage, if you use the feline bomber skill. Also, neat little trick, if you want a certain skill from the canteen, like the feline bomber skill, then either go and create a mill that adds a skill with some health plus standing bonuses, and then use the feline voucher to unlock it 100%. Or, just find a pre-made mill that has a skill, and then use the feline mill ticket to unlock it. This works for any skill you want to go for, so go mad, but not too mad, as the tickets are very limited in terms of actually getting them. So with this build, you're going to be literally just use your shells to do damage to the monster. No pokes, just shells. Within stakes, and also within fire, to do your main damage every now and then. Think of this build as a double pump shotgun with a giant shield for protection. You're going to be firing off your two shells, not three, as two will allow you to pull off a weapon stake faster and then redo the process again and again and again. And keep doing it until the monster either falls down to where you then double shell weapon stake combo and then finish into a weapon fire when available for a hefty amount of damage in one go. Now before you do any of this, you want to activate your protective polish first so you can freely shell the monster without worrying about your sharpness level degrading at a very ridiculous speed. You'll have at least a minute 30 to do what you need to do before the effect disappears, and then you'll be left with your actual sharpness, which will start at white. All you need to do now is generally repeat the process until the monster's dead, and just make sure you don't go into the other sharpness as you will lose damage. Pretty simple stuff, right? So with this build here, you can literally go gun lance, boomstick, shelling crazy, and have a very wild time. If you're someone that enjoys doing speed runs with gun lances and shelling only, then, you know, here's a build for you guys to go ahead and try out. And that right there, everyone, is two builds for you that both offer two distinct playstyles for you to get your grubby hands on and go completely boomstick crazy out in the wild. Remember, you don't have to have Y level 4 to make this work, as Y level 3 is just as effective as well. So get out there and have some boomstick fun for once. If you enjoyed the video, then a like and a sub would be appreciated, as I will be uploading on a regular of the many builds to come. But once again, thank you all for watching, and I do hope to see you again soon.